Hello, it's Carla from Scrap and Create. So now we are on page four. So we finished page three. Now we're on page four. And just a reminder, I am using not black construct, not um, black cardstock, because this is just a model to show you how to do it with these um, different color pages, so you can see better. So this is black, but this is your your. Um, pocket page. So here is the opening. Here is the spine. So you're going to have it like this. Now this page hopefully will be easier because it's basically we're going to be making a waterfall. A waterfall here and just a pocket right here. So the first thing you're going to do is you will be getting if you can see this the blue paper on the background it goes all the way around this you are going to be attaching this blue paper from i believe yeah this is from patterns and solids it's the 12 by 12 patterns and solids and basically this blue paper will be covering the entire backside of this pocket page. So mine is, I mean, it's basically seven and a half inches minus one tick mark. So it's basically seven and a half inches minus one sixteenth. So that is the height. And the width, I believe, I made it nine, it's not quite nine and a half, it's like basically nine and a half minus one tick mark. So I basically covered the whole backside with this paper. So you're going to cut that out and adhere it on your pocket page. After you do that, you're going to be getting this paper from the 12 by 12. First thing you're going to do, you are going to trim this flower edge. If you look at your paper, you'll see there's a green line. Where is my, where is my camera? There's a green line right in front of this flower stripe. You're going to just trim off trim off that green line and you're going to have this flower stripe and what you're going to do is you're going to this is this flower stripe is going to be here and then you're going to go all the way over to this flower stripe which is how far basically nine and a quarter inches And you're going to cut that right at that green line. Also, you're going to cut that green line off. So basically, you're going to have this paper going from here to here. Let me show you the edges. So it's going to go from here to here. You can see the green line has been cut off. But what's even more important is this ladybug this ladybug right here needs to be in the center so whatever you do get this ladybug in the center of your page so the page center is like at four and three quarters because this is nine and a half so the center is four and three quarters if I can get that. So you are going to have this, the ladybug part, centered at four and three quarters. That's going to be important because that ladybug stripe is in between 
our waterfall and our pocket here. But, but, this is a big but, so before you do that, do not adhere this paper all the way down. Do not adhere this paper all the way down because, number one, we're going to be adding this flap and it is going to be going underneath that flowered paper. So what you're going to do is go ahead and cut it. Get it the way, and ink the edges. Make sure you ink the edges on the blue also. You're going to cut it, have it where you want it, and what you could do, and what I did, is I adhered it to this side, to the right-hand side. I always use my, my tape, so I just adhered it to one side and left the tape all in the back and did not adhere the rest down until I was ready to put in this flap for the waterfall. So you got your blue paper on the back. You have this paper cut and your ladybug is centered in the middle, your ladybug stripe. You've inked the edges and you've adhered it to one side, just this right hand side. Then we are going to be starting on our waterfall. So what you will be doing is cutting five pieces at three and three quarter inches wide by five and seven eighths inches tall. And you are going to score it at a half an inch on this top side, because this is going to be a waterfall going in this direction. So cut those five pieces. So I want to show you something that I tend to do with my waterfalls. And you don't have to do this. You can do your standard, you got your five and seven eighths inch um, side up here and you can just score it at a half an inch here. But what I like to do, just in case I didn't make my cuts right, which I tend not to do sometimes, I'm going to start at this end. Here's my five and seven eighths and then I'm gonna go in for one, two, three, four. That is a half an inch. And then I'm gonna score it there. That way I know everything, every, every piece, every flap is going to be consistent um, in case I made a mistake. And then I just burnish, fold and burnish. Put it in here and I line it up again just to see is this straight? Does this look straight? Yes, this looks straight. And then I, I know everything is the same length down this way in case I my measurements were a little bit off. But you can do it the regular way. You can score it down here. I just like to score it up here and that way I know everything here is the same length. So hopefully that, that makes sense. I just have a problem getting everything straight on waterfalls. So you're gonna cut those, those pieces for your waterfall. Now one of them, you're going to trim the edge, but four of them, we're just gonna keep them the way they are. So get Get your pieces for your waterfall, and then you're going to cut one piece three and three quarter inches wide by seven and a half inches tall. And we'll be cutting this at the bottom also. You're not gonna be scoring this at all. We are gonna be building our waterfall on top of this. So get that one piece, this is black, scar black cardstock. All of these are black cardstock. So get this cut, and we're gonna build our waterfall on this, okay? So let me get rid of this. So 
So the way I do my waterfalls, because I have a problem keeping everything straight, here's my base piece. Let me get this a little bit in, a little bit tighter. So what I like to do is I fold it, I fold it, and make sure you burnish real well. Get your score tape if you use score tape. And what you're going to do with this first piece is you are going to line it up to the top edge of this base piece and you are going to be making sure it is um, centered side to side. You, you know this should be straight. So if this is straight and you've got it lined up here, you just pull this piece. I've got it centered. Everything looks straight. This looks straight. And then you just pull your score tape. And then go ahead and burnish that down. Hopefully I got it straight. So this is this base piece is just acting a guide so we keep everything straight and then you're going to do you're going to add your second piece like you normally do get your second piece you're going to line it up with this top piece right underneath it try to keep that straight but you want to make sure this is also lined up straight here so sometimes this is not quite straight but you want this lined up side to side straight. And that way, when this goes over, they are both straight. Same thing, get that lined up. And I have to turn it and get it lined up here. And then... When you're doing this black on black, it is real hard. So that's why I'm showing you with these bright colored papers so you can kind of see up oh, and that just, it just moved on me. I could feel it just moved on me. So let me just kind of get this and redo it. That's straight. But you guys get the idea, right? Pull and burnish. And then these should be lining up straight. Those are lining up straight. I'm going to do that two, one, two. And then I'm just going to do the third and fourth one and speed this up a little bit so you don't have to watch. Get that lined up. So you have your four pieces in one, two, three, four. Um, they're pretty straight. And the good thing with this is if you did get off, you can always put it in your trimmer and, and kind of even it out. But if you do it this way, it's, it's pretty good. What I did is I ended it with this flap this fourth flap, that's where I ended it, and that's where I cut the bottom piece. So I am going to cut, I am going to cut this bottom piece right at, right there, at the end of my fourth waterfall. So I'm going to go to the trimmer 
and I am going to cut it right there. And I will be right back. So I put it in my, my trimmer and we got one, two, three, four, four of our waterfall pages on our, built on our base. And then I trimmed off this bottom part of the base. So this last waterfall is, is just basically at the same edge here. Okay, it's okay. So here's, got that. Now we're going to put in our last waterfall. Let me get rid of this. It's hard to see with this thing. So now we're going to put in our last waterfall. Now this la last waterfall is going to be trimmed where where this base page ends. So once you figure out that's where it's going to go, you're just going to trim this right where that base page ends. So I'm going to go ahead and trim this and I will be right back. So I trimmed it and it's basically at, uh, at the same level as that base page trim. And I went ahead and lined it up and added it to the back side of the, this waterfall piece number four. So now we have our waterfall and we can put this in our album. So basically you are going to find where you need to put it and what you're looking for for placement is you are going to be looking for your guidelines which are going to be which is going to be this stripe paper right here. Let me show you where it is. So the waterfall is hitting right here with the stripe paper. You can see where it hits with a little bit of the red on this side, a little bit of red on this side, but your, your ladybugs are right in the middle. So just put it a little bit left of the ladybugs on that, that red line and you'll be fine. Just do that. Just center it a little bit to the left of the ladybugs on that red line um, and you'll be fine. So you're going to put your waterfall down. So I am going to, let me just mark this up. I'm going to find my, let me go back out a little bit. I am going to find my center on this page, which was nine and three quarters, right? Nine, I'm um, four and three quarters, four and three quarters. So I know my ladybugs are right here. So I'm just going to center this like this. I don't know if that's exactly right, but you guys get the idea. I have, I'm going to just put that right down here. So the way I adhere it is I put tape on the back and then I would adhere it down. So you know how, to, you know your guidelines, just a little bit below the flowered paper here. So I'm going to go ahead and put this down. I'm just going to use some um, art glitter glue just because it's fast. But just to let you know, you can do that, but I always use 
my tape. But for this, I'm just gonna use the glue. So it's going to be something like that. And then you just make sure that is burnished real well. Do every single page. So that's in. So once your waterfall's in, then you are going to cut a piece for your flap that you're going to be making. So this flap is going to have your magnets. So you are going to cut your flap seven and three eighths inches tall by two and a half inches wide, and you are going to score it at one inch. So where you score it, that is going to be fitting underneath your, um, your paper, your, your flowered paper, right? So that is going to be fitting underneath your flowered paper. So what you're going to do is you're going to find the center of your waterfall. You're going to find the center of your flap which I guess I could do. This is two and a half, so it's gonna be one and a quarter. One and a quarter. I'm gonna find the center of my waterfall, which is right here. Got the center of my flap. And then that is where you're going to be. Oops, I should be actually. Actually, I should put my center mark on this flap here. So what did I say? This is two and a half, so it's one and a quarter. One and a quarter right there. So I'm going to be centering it up. I'm going to be putting it under, under the, the flower paper. And then it will go up like this. So it's going to go underneath the flower paper. This is on top of the flower paper. So um, you're going to lift your flower paper up, put it on, and then adhere it. So this will be centered. Make sure you round the corners on the top up here. And then you're going to be placing magnets. And the magnets are going to be, yeah, they're going to be a half an inch from this side, a half an inch this way. So you're going to have a magnet here, half an inch, half an inch, a magnet here. And this is going to be your basic gray small magnets are going to go in there. So once you have your basic gray magnets in here, then you are going to transfer them to this top, this top flap, this top flap of your, your waterfall. So your magnets will be somewhere around. Here and here. Don't forget your magnets. You're not putting on your designer paper until you get those magnets in. Magnets, magnets. So you should have your flap in. It's all centered, looks good. And that's what it's going to look like. So you have your magnets in under here, half an inch down half an inch in on both sides basic gray small transfer your magnets to the top of your waterfall and then you 
then you can go ahead and adhere um, your flower paper down once you've got this in. I like to have the one inch, where is, I like to have this one inch thing here so it's, it's gives it a lot of surface area for your glue or your tape. You can put tape, cover the whole thing with tape so it really holds it down tight. So you got a whole inch to hold it down. Like that. So, so far so good? Yes, yes, okay. So then it's just decorating your waterfall. So I want, this is a, a standard um, three and a half by, this, what is this? When you order them, um, it's three and a half by, by five picture that you get from um, the photo developers, at least from MPix where I get it from. So this was designed to hold these, these pictures and without trimming. So the, that looks, that looks so cute, like that. And then I just added this paper, which is from, uh, I believe this is the, is that the 12 by 12 or eight by eight? This is from the eight by eight. This is the 12 by 12. So this is from the eight by eight. I just cut it to fit here. 8x8 eight eight hearts going in this direction. So the hearts are going in this direction. And then I just found some pieces. I just cut, um, I think, is, did I cut a half an inch? Yeah, I just made half inch strips and put them down here. The forget-me-not from the 8x8, from the, eight eight, the red solid, and the, the green from the 12x12. 12 12. On the back side, I just used this green from Pattern and Solids. That's all I did. Um, I think so. We got this done. The back side of the flap. The back side of the flap, I just used this paper from the Patterns and Solids. Just covered up the whole thing. Covered up our magnets. And then I just added this little um, card from the the 8x8 collection. Make sure you have it so you can read it and that these are in the right direction. So this is from the 8x8 collection, this flowered paper. And then I cut this piece out from the 8x8 um, front page. And I kept the blue, the blue border just kind of trimmed around it ink the edges, and then I put it down. Here's my magnets right here. I just put it right below the magnets, right. Here's the magnets, right, it's right there. That's how I centered that. So we have our waterfall in. Now we're going to make a pocket. So we have our waterfall in, you've got your designer paper on, you have your magnets in, and then you added your designer paper. You rounded the corners, and um, hopefully you had time to round the corners down here. I forgot to tell you to do that before you glued it down. Probably doesn't really matter, but if you can, let's go ahead and do that. Now we're going to make a pocket. So this pocket is going to be measuring four and a three quarters inches wide by four and one quarter inches tall. Now you're going to put it in your scoreboard like this because I already messed up. You're going to put it in with the four and three quarter inch on top. We're gonna score it at a half an inch. 
Got the four and one quarter, half an inch, flip it around, four and three quarter, half an inch. And then you will fold and burnish these. Show you what I did. I scored it on I scored it on the wrong side. So um, anyway, so fold and burnish and your pocket should end up at three and a three quarters inches wide. So my pocket ended up not that um, three and a half inches wide. So I screwed this one up. So there it goes. So then you just fold and burnish and um, you're just going to fold, burnish and add your score tape and miter the corners. And that's what I'm going to do. And I'll be right back. So I have my score tape in. I mitered my corners so there's no bulk on the edges. And I mitered the top part of the pocket piece. So this is going to be going, um, here's the, the line of your base piece here. You're going to, it's just going to be a continuation. You're going to follow that line. That's where the bottom of your pocket is going to be. Where you're going to be putting it, remember, is just going to be just to the right of the ladybugs, of that ladybug piece, right down. See how it is just right to the right of the ladybug stripe down the middle. That's where you're going to be centering this pocket, like that. So on this piece, I am just going to be guessing that's about where it is. Remember, you always do your bottom piece first. Um, do not do the side pieces until you get that bottom piece in. Oh my gosh, can't get the tape. Can't get the tape. And always give your edges of anything that you fold a, a good burnish. So I'm going just to put that right down there. Now where is where is the piece I just pulled the tape on? Oh my goodness. I got my line there. Burnish that down. Then what are you going to do here? You are going to put either your black construction tape. If you have it, I always use black construction tape now, but I'm not going to waste it on this prototype. I'm just going to put my scotch tape so anything we put in that pocket slides in smooth. And then you can go ahead and pull your other pieces, your two side pieces, and put on your pocket. One side down, the other side down. So now we have our pocket in. And this one probably is not straight. It is not straight, but um, you guys do it straight. So how are you going to decorate this pocket? So you're, once your pocket's in, then you're going to add your designer paper. This bottom piece is the same as this, this one. This is the yellow hearts from um, the 8x8 collection. So you're going to cut this piece, and it is going to be two and three quarters inches tall by three and a half plus two. Is that right? Three and a half plus two. Three and a half plus two. Four eighths, so five eighths three and five eighths inches wide. So you're going to put that down. And then I added this little strip on the top. The top edge is for, going to be from the eight by eight collection. I don't have, I can't show you the eight by eight collection because I don't 
have any more of it, but what you're going to do is you are going to be cutting this happiness and sunshine with the ladybugs. So you're going to cut the happiness and sunshine with the ladybugs. You will center it like that. So you see, where's my camera? So you see a little flower, on one flower on one side of the sunshine, and you see one flower on the other side of happiness. And that should be around the same thing, three and a half plus an eighth. So if you want to do this piece first and get it in, get this stripe in, then you're going to have a little bit of black reveal in between the yellow paper. You can do that. And then I just use this from the 8x8 collection. This You Are My Sunshine. You Are My Sunshine. I just left a little bit of the, the blue reveal around it. Remember, you're inking all the edges. And then with my X-Acto knife, I just cut from the um, butterfly wing. I just kind of followed that circle edge and made a little slit. And I slipped in this little, this little cutie. Now, this little cutie is coming from... Basically, I cut out this from the 12 by 12 collection. That little um, collection of those three little cuties right there, I just kind of fussy cut them out. And then used this one for this side. And I actually put the other two on the other side. So I separated the, th the three. There's two on this side and there's one on this side. And I just kind of have some of the flowers in there too. You don't have to do that. I just thought, I just think they're so cute. So that's what I did. And I just slipped, slipped this little cutie in, inked her edges, put the little flowers in here just to kind of break it up a little bit. Add, add a little bit more to this little one. So then you're going to be done with this pocket. Then you're just going to make this insert. So this insert, I made it basically three inches plus one sixteenth. That's the base. That's the base. The black cardstock is three plus one sixteenth by six and whoop, three eighths, six and three eighths long. I rounded the corners and then I added this little piece from the um, eight by eight collection, which is, how tall is it? It's about two and a quarter inches, a little bit more than two and a quarter inches tall, rounded the corners on it, and it's about three inches wide. Then I got this um, journaling card, and I cut it to fit, so you may have to trim it a little bit. So it's going to be the same width, three inches wide. So it's the same width as this piece down here. And then just trim it to fit. Ink, ink round the corners and ink the card. And then put that down. So that's going to be the back side. Well, that's the front side. Isn't that cute? And then the back side is just this paper from the 8x8, expanding the whole side of the card. And so that just fits in here like that. So that is how it's going to be looking. Let 
and here is the waterfall on this side. See all the, the edges? So hopefully this one wasn't too hard. Um, I'm just real OCD on my waterfalls lining up. Uh, hopefully you were able to round the corners down here. If not, no big deal. And then um, the pictures that she actually put down here, since this is not quite the, the right size, you will just trim a picture to fit. You're only going to be trimming like a quarter of an inch, so no big deal. But that will fit in, in nicely. And then we are done with page four.